as another month has begun, that means another month has come and gone, and it's time to talk about who impressed Kevin Hawk the most in the month of June. It is time for Kevin Hawk's self high five. So, as per usual, there are a few people that he can't choose, uh, which are the people that I picked last month. So therefore, Pete Dunne versus Tyler Bate, Marty Skrull, the Lucha Brothers, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa are off the table. But the top five that he does choose can be anyone in the world of wrestling for whatever reason most entertained him in the month of June. Yeah. So, Kevin Hawk, who's at number five? Rory Gulak. Oh. Winning the first ever Johnny Kidd Invitational. All right. Which did guarantee him a future Grand Championship shot. Nice. So, you know... Because that was, the, that was one of the other stipulations that we didn't really mention, is that points were on the line in every match. Oh, so the winner automatically got yeah. three points. <laughs> All right. That's Plus, I mean, he got back-to-back wins over Zack Sabre Jr. and the grand champion of Chikara, or Francis Benny Cordella. That is pretty impressive. So, All righty, then. What about number four? Number four. It's going to be a match. All right. The Lucha Underground match. Hey. Kill shot versus Jeremiah Crane. Up to this, those guys killed it. Up to this point, probably the best match of the cup. Yeah. The best match since Lucha Underground's come back. Yeah. Let's put it that way. I would say so. Uh, they pretty much murdered each other. Yeah, I mean, despite the kind of lackluster finish that they got... It was still a really good match that, if you haven't seen it, you need to see. Yeah, go watch that match. It is awesome. It is pristine. It is crazy. If you like, you know, the PWG style spot fest matches, because that's that's where they, these guys have done this a lot there. Yeah, and other various promotions. So. Not to mention that they've, like, wrestled each other a lot all over the country. So, yeah. their chemistry was, like, you know, really honed in. They've, they, they know each other really well, so... Yeah. They didn't really... There wasn't a moment where you could feel, like, uh, a lull in, like, oh, shit, what do we do now? Yeah, no, it was every, every, time, every time there was something done one of them knew the next step and where to go. There was always, always, you know, another, another thing to do. There was never, never a second thought about anything. Yes. All right. Number three. This is another two people. Oh, shit. Tag team? You could say that my number three pick doesn't just raise the bar. No. They are the bar. All right. For retaining the tag team championships against the Hardys in a cage match, extreme rules. It was a pretty good cage match. Yeah. We had a two out of three falls match. I think it happened shortly afterwards. On Raw. Yeah, like two weeks, like two weeks after. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Yeah. And for being consistently entertaining. Hell, but the Hardy boys look great. They're a little. Old. Yeah, you know. What can you do? Not to mention also getting involved in the uh, Finn Balor Elias Samson angle. Yeah, it's it's interesting that you know they've given this like top tier talent a chance to interact with someone like Elias Samson, who otherwise probably wouldn't have gotten a lot of notoriety. He would have just been swept under the rug. He literally would have just been known as the guy who walked around backstage for weeks. Yeah, and had a guitar. That's, I mean, yeah. So, yeah. Even more reason for Cesaro and Sheamus to be in here. And it's not often that you sing the praises of Sheamus, so... No. This is a monumental moment. Yeah, pretty much. All right. How about number two? Number two? Samoa Joe. <laughs> Samoa Joe. Uh... I mean, he won the 
five-way Extreme Rules match at Extreme Rules, which is like a half hour long, grueling match, and then has Pierre, like, <coughs> he's pumped out Brock Lesnar twice and choked out an old Jewish guy. That's, that's an impressive resume for June. Yeah. Samoa Joke is a lot of shit better than both. Yeah. I mean, there are not many guys who can poke out Brock Lesnar twice in a month, regardless of who they are. I think the only other person to do that was Goldberg. Yeah. In recent memory, at least. And I don't even know if that was twice in a month. Probably not. Well, I'll give you a little break and I'll talk about my honorable mentions. Do it. Because on top of Killshot versus Jeremiah Crane, there were a lot of other really good moments match-wise and other good moments in Lucha Underground. Uh, match-wise, once again, if you haven't seen it, you need to watch the second singles competition match between Kazushika Okada and Kenny Omega for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship from Dominion, because these two went to an hour-long draw. Yeah. And it's not often that the sequel is better than the original. This is one of those moments. Oh, absolutely. And on top of that, the first match they had was the only match that Dave Meltzer gave five stars. He gave this one six. So, for... No other reason other than Dave Meltzer, who is kind of like... Six stars is an unprecedented number of stars. Yeah. Ever. Because usually it only goes up to five. And he gave it six. So. Uh, also, in Ring of Honor, Cody Rhodes winning the Ring of Honor World Championship in a match against the Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see it, but this is a monumental moment for Cody Rhodes. This is his first world championship as a single star. Yeah. He, you know, he never really got much higher than the mid-card belts in WWE. So this is a big moment for him. He's been killing it ever since he left WWE, and he definitely deserves this opportunity. And... I mean, just to add to the fact that he's been doing great stuff with the Bullet Club, it's, it's another fun thing that we get to watch uh, the American Nightmare do yeah. uh, on his way through his indie career. And then number three, simply for our shock value, I'm putting Brian Cage on here because he smashed a dude's head in Lucha Underground with his Doctor Doom fist. Head exploding. I mean... He's a machine. I don't think there's, no, there's never been another time where I've seen someone's head get squashed in wrestling, like legitimately. So, first time for everything, thank you Lucha Underground, and congratulations to Brian Cage. Yeah. With that being said, who is your number one? Or would the question rather be, who are my number one? There's more than one? There's two number ones. Oh Jesus, is this a tag team? It is not a tag team. It is another match. It is. Oh. And we're talking Asuka versus Mickey Cross in the last woman's standing Hell match yeah. for the NXT Women's Championship. It was fantastic. A lot of chair bumps. Good use of the outside. Uh, clever <coughs> spots. <laughs> Involving the atmosphere and a hell of a finish. Yeah. With Asuka barely, barely beating the kill. I kind of thought it was going to go to a, I thought it was going to be a tie. Oh, and she would have won just because it was yeah. a tie. I mean, I'm glad they had her be that definitive winner because they're really, I mean, that's the great thing about Asuka is that despite the fact that she keeps winning, I'm not upset about it. Yeah. Because she's consistently entertaining, she puts on fantastic matches, and she deserves that spot. And on top of that, every time she faces someone, she makes that person look like a million bucks. Yeah. 
And so, you know, this didn't hurt Nikki Cross, especially because Nikki is still very new. Yeah. Like, and it's, it made Nikki, I think, really a viable contender to be the women's champion. Yeah. Which I don't honestly think she really was prior to this, just on the lack of the amount of matches that she's had. Yeah. But the fact that she was able to keep up with Asuka in this match absolutely makes her a future contender. Yep. There you have it. There's my top five. So congratulations to everyone that made the list this month. Who would your top five for the month of June be? Post it down in the comments. Do you agree with Kevin Hawk? Do you agree with me? I mean, do you disagree? If so, doesn't matter. Or that. It's more polite. That's better though, because it's more definitive. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Which means click the links down in the description. Yeah, there's a lot of links. Like a podcast. That's one of the links. And reasonable wrestling fans. Reasonable to W. Like, like wrestling. wrestling. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Fire Dick Predictions coming up soon. Oh, shit.